Hey guys, it's Alexandra from ilovenots.com. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet the moss stitch, aka the linen stitch, aka the woven stitch. I'm working on a hand towel here. I'm almost finished with my project, so I thought this would be a great time to pause and work up the stitch tutorial. This stitch pattern is very easy. It is comprised of just single crochets and chain one spaces. So here you can see it's a single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet all the way across. And when you come back for the next row, you work the single crochets into the chain one space, and then you chain one over the single crochet single crochet into the next chain one space, chain one over the single crochet all the way across. You begin and end the rows with single crochets on the edges. So for my sample here I am using We Crochet Dishy Yarn. This is a worsted weight 100% cotton yarn. This colorway is called Mushroom which is like a greenish brown color and I'm using an H8 5 millimeter crochet hook. You can use any weight yarn with the respective crochet hook to work up this pattern. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to begin with a slip knot. So I have the yarn just over my fingers here. And I'm going to wrap it around my index finger two times. And I'll hold the tension down with my middle finger and my thumb. Pull the loop on the left up over the other loop but not off my finger. Pull the loop that's now on the left up over the other one and off my finger. And I'll take my crochet hook, insert it into the loop where my finger is. I'm going to hold the working yarn with my right hand and with my left hand I'm just going to pull on that tail end and that will pull the slack so that your knot is at normal tension. Then I'll just drop the tail end and pick up the working yarn. For the linen stitch or the moss stitch you're going to want to chain a multiple that is even. I'm just working a small sample here so I'm going to chain eight. To chain we're going to yarn over and pull through the loop on our hook. Yarn over, pull through the loop on our hook. Yarn over, pull through the loop. So that's three. I'm going to go ahead and continue working. Once you have all your chains, you're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. We don't count this loop that's on our hook, so we're skipping this first chain down here, and we'll single crochet into the second chain. Insert your hook directly into the center, Yarn over, pull through. There are two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through both loops. Then we'll chain one. Skip the next chain. Single crochet into the next chain. Insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through. There are two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through both loops. Then chain one. Skip the next stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. Insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both loops. And you continue in pattern just like that, chain one, skip one stitch, single crochet into the next stitch. Work until you get to the very end of your chains. After row one, you'll see you have single crochet and then a chain space, single crochet and a chain space, single crochet and a chain space all the way across. We're going to single crochet now into those chain spaces. We're going to start with a chain one and then we'll turn. We always single crochet into the edges so I'm going to go ahead and single crochet into the very first stitch there. Insert my hook into that stitch picking up both loops Yarn over, pull through, two loops, yarn over, pull through both loops to complete a single crochet. Then we have a chain space next. 
we're, sing we're going to single crochet into that stitch. And when you single crochet into a chain space, you just simply insert your hook right into that chain space, into that hole, and then complete your stitch. The next stitch is a single crochet. We're going to chain one over that and skip that single crochet. In the next chain space, we're going to work a single crochet. The next stitch is a single crochet. We want to chain one over that and skip it. My next stitch is a chain one space. I'm going to single crochet over that. You'll continue working all the way across. You'll single crochet into each chain one space chain one and skip the next single crochet. When you get to the end, you single crochet into the very last stitch. And there's row two. This is a two row repeat, so this is one of the rows that you repeat. And row three will be your second repeat. To work row three, chain one and turn single crochet into the first stitch. The next stitch you have is a single crochet, chain one, skip that single crochet, single crochet into the next chain space. Chain one, skip the next single crochet, chain one into the next chain space. Chain one, You'll continue working all the way across, skipping the next single crochet, then single crochet into the next chain space, all the way until you get to the end. At the end, you'll have two single crochets together. You're going to skip the next single crochet and single crochet into the last single crochet. And that's going to be your second repeat for this stitch pattern. Now we go back and we repeat row two. Chain one and turn. Single crochet into the first stitch. Single crochet into the next chain one space. Chain one. Skip the next single crochet. Single crochet into the next chain one space. Chain one. Skip the next single crochet single crochet into the next chain one space, continue all the way across. When we get to the end of the row, we just single crochet into the last stitch. Then for the second row of the repeat again, chain one, single crochet into the first stitch, chain one, skip the next single crochet, single crochet into the chain one space, chain one, skip the next single crochet, single crochet into the next chain one space, continue working across, chain one, skip the next single crochet, single crochet into the next chain one space, all the way across until you have two single crochets left. We'll chain one, skip the next single crochet and single crochet into the last stitch. And you simply continue repeating row two and then row three all the way until you reach your desired height. I want to show you really quick how to change yarn balls working in the moss stitch. You want to change your yarn ball in a single crochet so you'll work up until you get pretty close to the end. You want to make sure you leave a tail long enough that you can comfortably weave in. I've worked a chain one. Then I'll insert my hook into the next chain space, yarn over and pull through. That's the first half of the single crochet. We have two loops on our hook. And now we're at the last yarn over. So I'm just going to hold the tension and drop the yarn tail and grab my new strand from my new ball. I want to leave a tail end long enough that I can weave in there and make a loop and then I'll put that loop on my hook 
This counts as the last yarn over of the single crochet and then we'll pull it through both of those loops. Now our single crochet is complete. We can drop the previous tail end to the back and the new tail end to the back, pick up the new working yarn, work a chain one, and continue working in pattern just with our new ball instead of our old ball. Either side of this can be the right side because they're worked in turned rows so they're identical. To count this you go by the v-shaped stitches you'll notice that they're staggered. There's one down here two, three, four, five. Five rows of moss stitch or linen stitch here. That's the way that I always go. I get confused when I'm looking on the sides, but if you go in a little bit, you can count the staggered single crochets. If you wanted to add a border to your project, it's very easy to do from this step because you're already on the edge, so you could simply work a chain and turn and then proceed with your border. When you're finished, you would fasten off long enough so you can weave in your end comfortably. Then take your crochet hook and pull up on your loop to break it and then simply weave in your two ends. And that's how you work the linen stitch, aka the moss stitch, aka the woven stitch. You'll find tutorials, free crochet patterns, yarn giveaways, and so much more at ilovenots.com. Please smash that like button and hit subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.